Edwin, you can buy this for me? No, <laughs> My worst nightmare in high school, TI-83 and TI-84. Ah, uh, what a bad memories. I could never figure out how to use this thing, still to this day. April 20th, 1999, I was going to South High School. I'm covering my picture because it kind of looked weird. And I was a 10th grade. We were in a keyboarding class, uh, practicing keyboarding computers class. And my friend was listening to the radio. He comes on and tells me, Edwin, there's a shooting going on at Columbine High School. Columbine High School was 10, 15 minutes away from our high school. I had friends at Columbine High School and uh, we used to go play them soccer uh, once in a blue moon, uh, really nice school, uh, good school. Anyway, so Columbine shooting happened, one of the first major massacre shootings in high school. It was very catastrophic, uh, we were really sad. Uh, anyway, so we were in the keyboarding class and uh, our principal comes on. As soon as my friend tells me there's a shooting going on while he was listening to the radio, the principal comes on and says there is a, a bomb threat in our high school and everyone needs to leave all their stuff and leave the school immediately, take the first exits and do not be on any school premises right now, leave as fast as you can. It was really scary at that time. Um, we didn't know what was going on and then uh, everyone kind of started talking about uh, Columbine. Everyone kind of found out why it was happening. And uh, we all left the school. Some of us went with friends. We left all of our stuff in the classroom. And um, it was a very sad uh, moment. It was a sad, uh, sad year for all of us in Denver and in Colorado. And uh, my heart still goes out to those people there. But anyway, so um, we kind of experienced something like that, I guess. Uh, being in a neighboring high school. A lot of us from South High School did attend uh, the funeral to some of those uh, students who passed away at that high school and uh, and it was really sad. Um, anyway, so... So crazy stuff like that happens unfortunately and um, we just pray that uh, it doesn't happen but sometimes uh, people get away with doing things like that. I decided to, I kind of was hesitating about making this video. I uh, just did it, brought some memories back. I was like, uh, I don't know if I should do it or not. The purpose of this video is I'm trying to see, is it better to keep your backpack on if there was to be a shooting in school? Since a lot of us took those heavyweight books and some of us took laptops. Do you leave your backpack on and then continue running or do you put everything down and uh, take off running? Is the backpack going to be bulletproof if you kept it on? So we're gonna, I want to see what happens, uh, which one is a better idea. Every circumstance is going to be different. Uh, there's I'm sure safety rules and regulations everyone should follow according to their school. But if you were to be on your own in the middle of a hallway, you're running away or something is happening, what do you do? Do you leave your backpack on? Can it save you from a bullet? and uh, those the shooting that did happen in columbine high school a lot of the bullets they used were the nine millimeter so we're gonna try it with the nine millimeter and see if i can stop that bullet with a backpack full of books and uh, see if we have a little bit of appreciation for books see if they can help us and save lives all right so let's try it out and see what happens okay guys i'm gonna start filling this backpack with the laptop not every single student in school is gonna have a, a laptop in their backpack but i'm gonna put this one of the last things that the bullet is going to hit right over here let's stick a biology book this is about an inch thick couple notebooks that's one section pre-calculus book sixth edition one of the subjects i do not like at all this is about an inch and a half thick some of you guys know what these formulas are uh, i'm still trying to figure them out they look more like an art than anything we'll stick this in here and then we'll stick a couple more notebooks so this back is not super heavy actually this is something I would have uh, had in my backpack. People leave their books in lockers. They always carry two, three books with some notebooks. So we'll see what happens. 
so I'm gonna aim it right around here this area seems that's where the a lot of our stuff is I'm gonna be shooting it with a nine millimeter two rounds and we'll see if we have a penetration if we did have penetration we'll add more books to it but uh, we'll try it first with what we had two books a couple notebooks and a laptop in the bag all right let's get ready and shoot and see what happens Amazing. I don't see any water dripping anywhere. We have no penetration inside. You guys won't believe this. Just our first book, our pre-calculus, the one that nobody liked, saved our life. None of the bullets came through. Just on the first book. So even if it would have been out of this one, hit our second book, which was biology, it wouldn't have made it. It wouldn't even have made it to our laptop. So let's check out inside. So you can see it made the holes. Here's our first bullet right over there. Okay. And here's a little bit of the lead. And there's our second bullet right over there. So these are both of our bullets. So if you do have a backpack, even if you have a book that is about an inch and a half thick or uh, two inches, it's the only book you have. You might have some weight trying to uh, protect yourself if you are running away, but leaving your backpack on as you are taking off, it's always probably the safest idea. It will protect you from not getting shot from behind. And if you are going forward facing, you don't want to get hit from the front, I would wear it this way, like this as you're exiting the school or uh, trying to be more safe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, it was really uh, sad for me to make this video. I kind of didn't want to. and uh, But I figured if my videos will help anyone in any kind of circumstances, situations, you know, I pray to God this never happens to anybody, any schools. But if it did happen, uh, these are some of the things that you guys can use around you, what, what you have to protect yourself. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you guys liked it. If uh, you learned anything out of this one, please don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.